time to apron up. That's upside down. It is time to apron up as we are cooking today. Isn't that right, Mum? Yep. Glasses, don't need glasses for cooking. Hello! Say hello, Mum. Hello. Today, we will be fulfilling a lifelong dream of mine. In case you didn't know, you probably did know I mentioned it a lot, but if you didn't, I've got a huge obsession. Obs obsession with Percy Jackson and it's like probably my all-time favorite thing in this entire world. So if you haven't read the books, basically in them Percy's mum makes these cookies that are blue and buttery and they are like the best things ever apparently and I have always wanted slash needed these in my life. So today I finally thought I'm bored in lockdown, I went on an essential journey to the shop with other, I needed to get other things and I bought what I needed at the same time to make these cookies. I found a recipe from, from, by, by, on the website called In Literature. I will, do you know what, I'll include, I'll include the link in the description. Um, in Literature, I don't know what the name of the person who made them is. Oh, author bright at inliterature.net. We're using this recipe, it's nice and simple. I've actually never made these types of cookies before. I don't know how this is gonna go. I'm gonna have such a good time though, because it's not about the end result, it's about the process. Um, I think, I don't know. I'm not a philosopher. That's, let's, let's get started. Start by making sure your ingredients are at room temperature. Do you feel temperature warm room? Thank you, Butter. This technically was in the fridge and it was very cold, but I popped it in the microwave for just 10 seconds. And you know what, baking people, you can come at me for saying that's not what I was supposed to do, but I haven't got, I haven't got the energy to wait this long. I just want my cookies. Now, uh, preheat your oven to 160 degrees Celsius, which I have done. I also apologise if you can see my dogs going up and down my house. That's life. Also, my mum is in the other room. Hello! She's in the other room. She's having a great time. She's- Oh, you can't even try my cookies! Evan can try my cookies! Yes! He won't appreciate them on the same level as I do. This is Evan's level, this is my level. Sometimes it's here, but for cookies, mine's up here. You get me? I get me. So, first things first, in a mixer, well, we're already missing one thing. With our hands, we need to cream together the butter, sugar, and eggs. Butter, sugar, eggs, I can do that. Now, I need to weigh things. Oh, I didn't get a knife. I need a knife. I need a kniffy. With my kniffy, I'm gonna chop the butter. Now, I need 170, ooh, ding, you too. 175 grams of butter. Now, I've just realised this. all of this is in cups, so we're going to have some fun calculations going on when we try and figure out how much a cup is to a gram and, and things. Oh, this butter is like a great temperature, I think. Ooh, that's a nice sound. Oh, I should have done like a, a second camera so you can see what, uh, you know what, you don't need to see what I'm doing, you just got to believe in the magic. Do you know what, it's kind of, you know how people say they're self-conscious when they can hear, they know someone's like listening to the film? I've gone past that level. I don't care anymore, you're just part of my audience now. Me? Yeah. Okay. Now, it didn't state whether I needed unsalted or not. I looked up what the best butter in cookies is, and it said unsalted, so that's what I got. I don't know, I was at co-op and I was already stressed about touching things, and I just, I didn't need that extra stress of not knowing what butter. Uh, 174. Just a slither, just a slither. Slither. No! Not a slither. Yes! Okay, we got butter. Butter, sugar, and eggs. So I need half a cup of brown sugar and a quarter of a cup of white sugar. Brown sugar, white sugar. Half, I need to do calculations. Half a cup in grams is 64 grams. Okay. Which sugar was that? Oh my goodness, I can't remember anything. Mum, I need half a cup of brown sugar. Can you remember that for me? Okay, thank you so much. Deep breath. I'll do. That'll do. I don't care anymore. Half cup brown sugar, which I'm pretty sure is 64 grams, if I'm correct in saying. It's 64. Oh, should I sieve it? Do I need to sieve it? Do you need to sieve sugar? Do you need to? Do you know what? Life short. This is brown sugar, by the way. Light brown sugar. Now I said brown sugar, but I can find the brown sugar, so I just went for light brown sugar. It was either that or golden. I thought the brown was closer. Light brown's closer to brown than gold. Then go, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I justified it to myself. Oh, we need 65. 
it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Just move on. Mm, just move on, just move on, just move on. According to Google, it's 34. So I'm going to roll with 34, which doesn't seem to make sense because if it was 64 for a half a cup, then surely you'd think a quarter would be 32. Right? No. Wait. What? Math? How? Do you know what? Ah! I didn't tear it. What's 64 plus, plus 34? What's... What's... I can't... I struggle so much in life sometimes. Pun 98! Okay, I just gotta add to get to 98. I can't do maths in my head. I did pass my maths GCSE, you know. I studied. But I haven't studied in years. I passed that like... How long ago did I do my GCSEs, man? Like, four years ago? Three years ago? I'm How old am I now? 18. So about nearly five years ago I did them then. No wonder I'm no good. You can never have too much sugar, I say. I'm gonna mess up my recipe. Right, now apparently we've got a cream. I'm assuming that means mix them together. I don't know what type of spoon I need. I'm just gonna... Now, it said in a mixer. Do I have a mixer? No. Do I bake often enough to get a mixer? No because my mum is vegan and I don't really eat baked goods that often. And if I do, I just go and buy them because I don't eat them so often that there's no point in me making them. Also, I'm very lazy. Also, I have a life. Also, my life isn't baking. Also, no offense to you if your life is baking. Isn't that right, mum? Cool, love that, mum. Thank you so much for listening to everything I say. Now, I am gonna get Evan to try these to see what he thinks. I think he'll like them. He likes me, so, I mean, this is just a product that I've made, so, you know. Two and two together equals five. Four. Three, two, one. I'm assuming they need to be fluffy, right? But I'm having an issue with that. Also, my arm is tired. Also, why do people bake? This is exhausting. You could just buy these. No, Perrin. It's about the process, Perrin. Maybe it's because my butter wasn't really room temperature. Maybe that's why this is not my thing. Maybe I'm just really not very good at this. Maybe if I use this thing, will that work better? This just feels like it's gonna fall apart. Cue a montage of me stressed about this and working really hard. Go! Okay. It's starting to like do what I think it's supposed. Oh. It's okay. Take a deep breath. Everything's okay. Everything's. And we're back in. Mom, I'm tired. Oh well. Oh well. Oh look, now it's like all creamed. It well, there's big lumps of butter left, but it's like more of a paste now. I don't think I'm supposed to mix it like this. I don't understand baking. Right, I'm not making this video because I think I'm good at baking, okay? I'm very aware that this is not how you cream things together. But, it's about the process! Sounds like they're gonna be the cookies of your dreams. They are gonna be the cookies of my dreams, mum. Just you wait. <laughs> this, do you know what? There's only three criteria I need with these cookies, okay? They taste all right. They have to taste amazing because I'm not good at baking. They are edible and they are blue. If they are not blue, then this was wasted. Wasted! Now, how do I get the big lumps of butter out? I want it to mix with my cream. No, my sugar, my... Why is it called cream? Oh no, am I getting it on my top? No! Oh, I shouldn't have baked in this top. Useless apron, not even doing its job. <laughs> While we're doing this, maybe I'll talk about my love of Percy Jackson. That's a great idea, Perrin. Why don't you show more? I thoroughly enjoy Percy Jackson. If you haven't read it, basically, it's about this kid who who is a demigod and whose parents are gods. Well, one of his parents are gods and they go to this camp for like demigods and they have to fight a load of monsters and stuff. And I read it when I was in like year six, but I read the series back instead of forwards. I always count the series. Technically, there's only five in the Percy Jackson series and then you have the Heroes Olympus series. Now, I didn't do that with my life. I always count the Heroes of Olympus as like, even though they're technically sequels, they still got the characters in them. So I always count them as like 10 books in total. Um, I read book number six and then I read book number seven, then I read book number eight. And then I went back because I was waiting for the other books to come out. I went back and I read book number five, then I read book number three, then I read book number four, and then I read book number two, then one, then eight, nine, 10. 
want to say, or nine and ten. Why? I don't know. And then I went back and reread them the right order, and while I still it still made sense to read them in the wrong order, you're not supposed to read them in the wrong order, but I felt like it, you know? Does that cream? Do I need to do it more? Is it supposed to be softer? Okay, I'm gonna say that's cream because I'm tired. Add a splash of blue food dye. If you add it to the wet ingredients, you'll get a nice blue consistency throughout your cookies. Well, I hear you, and that's what we'll do. Egg cracking legend. Okay, eggs, done. Ah, eggshell on floor, not good. Do not recommend. 10 out of 10, wouldn't do it again. Now, my blue food coloring is not liquid, it's a gel. I don't know how much I'm gonna need. Isn't this just gonna go green because the eggs are kind of yellow? I don't know. Do I need to chop off the end maybe? I don't know, I don't bake often enough. Oh! They just said blue food dye, they didn't say how much. So if I mix it into these eggs, right? Isn't it just gonna go green? Surely it's just gonna go green and not, I don't know, color wheel? Okay, I don't know if I'm supposed to be beating these eggs or not, but life's short, you know? Okay, well it's definitely gonna go green maybe. I don't think it's gonna go blue though. Cause I've got a yellow mixture and then I'm just adding more yellow and a tiny bit of, maybe I need more blue. What's the worst that can happen? More blue, go blue. Go blue, go blue, go blue. That's kind of blue, right? I don't think I'm supposed to beat these eggs. I'm so confused. Why is baking so hard? Okay, uh, I made blue, I think. I think that's gonna have to do. Blue, it's gonna have to do. If you add, it's just the wet ingredients, you get a nice blue consistency. Stir in the flour and the stir in it. So she said add the wet stuff next. This stuff. Okay, I think, I don't know if I'm supposed to do the flour first, or just the eggs, or... I don't know how cookies work. I maybe should have made cookies before I did this. How does this work? I don't understand. I don't get it. That's not how I vibe. It's not vibing. It's not vibing. They said two cups of plain flour. How much is that? Two cups. Two cups in grams. That's what it is. It's flour. Okay, I'm guessing it's double one. So 200 and... 128 times two. 240. 256! I don't think I'm doing this right. But I'm sure if I mix it all together in the end, it'll be fine. Maybe I'm just too lazy to make cookies. We don't need any more lumps. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh dear. I need 200 and whatever I said, 56. Yes, winning. 256! Right, now we mix it all together, right? That's how cookies work. Maybe the flour was the thing I needed all along. Maybe the flower was our saving grace all along. Yeah, ah, oh, yeah, look, it's starting to look a bit like a dough. How fun. What if my cookies aren't even blue in the end? What if they're just like brown cookies? Then this wasn't pointless. I'm so, I'm so stressed. Fun, it's like Play-Doh. Ah, you can make shapes with it. How do I get this to turn into cookies then? It smells nice. It smells really good. It's just covered in flour at the moment. But I'm sure we can work on that. They were right, you get quite a consistent colour. See, I know it'll be fine. We might just have lumps of butter in our cookies and that's fine. That's just a quirk. I'm just making them my own. They're no longer Percy Jackson blue cookies, they're Percy Jackson Perrin blue cookies. The Perrin Jackson cookies. Mum, copyright it, quick. What? Perrin Jackson blue cookies because I've added probably lumps of butter because I didn't do it properly. Okay, but you're not called Jackson. Good point. Good point, Mum. I think that's a cookie dough. Mum! Let me show my mum. Mum! Do you think that looks like cookie dough? Shall I add more blue to it? It's gonna just look more green. Will it? <laughs> I'm stressed now, what should I do? This is gonna get blue all over my hands. I've just realised my mistake. Oh, I shouldn't put it back in the bowl, it's all stuck. Ah, oh, dear. Oh dear. I think it's turquoise. What colour is your shirt? That's green. So it's the cookies. No, that's a different colour. That's similar. I don't need your criticism. So, I don't have any chocolate chips. Also, look at my dough. Wow, fun. I don't have any chocolate chips, so I'm gonna chop, put this in a bag and smack it as hard as I can to make chocolate chips. I got two bags and I got a tea towel to wrap it in so I don't mess it up. 
my hands is so buttery. I don't know how much chocolate I need. Let's do that much. Bah, pop them in the bag. Wrap it in a tea towel. Wrap it in a tea towel. Bam, rolling pin. Didn't work. I just have squished chocolate. Maybe I need to chop them up. I'll chop them. I don't know if this will work either. Yeah. Hey, that works. Okay, fun. So if we just line them up, right? Can you see the lining up happening? They're just gonna be like lines, that's all. I'm gonna chop the whole thing. You know what? You can never have too many chocolate chips. Gonna chop, 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 chop. Chop my chocolate up. Chop the chocolate, chocolate, chop. Chop, 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 chop. And then, and then we just put A into B and mix it in and hope for the best. Get it in there. Oh, it's all getting stuck to the bottom again. Maybe lots of things went wrong. I don't know. Do you know what? I don't care my methods as long as I get an end result. Get in there. Stop disrespecting your parent cookies. I made you. You'd be nothing without me. Now, the person on the recipe said to put them in little balls on a piece of baking paper on a tray to go in your preheated oven, which I preheated. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm not sure how this works. I'm gonna make cookies. That seems like it's gonna be really big when it spreads out. I'm worried that my cookies are all gonna melt together, maybe. Maybe I'll give them lots of room to be cookies, to be the cookies that they were born to be. Okay, I have a feeling I'm gonna need another tray. What, how annoying. I've got so much cookie mixture. Maybe if I do it with my hands, it'll be easier, right? If I make them into like neat little balls, maybe? I'll make them into like cute balls, like this. Like so. Oh, I'm gonna have to wait for these to cool down before I can eat them. Oh, cooking sucks! Right, that's our first tray of cookies. I think they're gonna spread really big, so I wanna give them lots of room, so I'm gonna get another tray. Yes, I'm gonna use a pizza tray. What's the problem? You got a problem? Talk to me about it. Welcome to cooking with parents, baking with parents. Welcome to anything with parents. It's nearly a circle. Wow. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. And as you can see, I'm not one for neat. Neat's just not my shtick. That's gonna totally come off. What if these get stuck? I have a feeling these are definitely gonna get stuck. Oh, I'm starting to really doubt my cookies, mum. Uh, okay, I think they've all got enough room to live. I've only got the tiniest amount left. Maybe I can just spread that between my cookies. Okay, I put hats on all my cookies and now I'm gonna pop these other ones that I saved right in the top so that they look cool when they bake, hopefully. If some of them don't look pretty, that's just a quirk. Wow, right, okay. Okay, I think my cookies are ready for the oven, so I'll see you in a bit when my cookies are baked. They're gonna be so much fun. Evan, I made cookies. Yes. Would you like to see them? Yes. I think they might be slightly undercooked. <laughs> But they taste good. Well, that's, that's all that matters. <sighs> Ooh! Oh, they came out so good! Thank you so much. I slaved over these cookies. I did not cream the butter and the sugar properly. I definitely got too lazy and just chucked everything in together. There might be chunks of butter in it, but there are also chocolate chip cookies to go with the chunks of butter. Would you like to try this one that has already fallen out and broken in half? Yes, I would. Do you want to share it? Yeah, we'll share it. As you can see, might be slightly undercooked. <laughs> Please, they're still warm. They're still warm. Right, ready? Yeah, yeah, ready. Do you want to go? Yeah, they're a bit undercooked. They're very undercooked. <laughs> <laughs> but they taste good. They do taste good. Are we going to eat them? We should put them back in the oven, maybe. Maybe we'll put them back in the oven. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> Are they really undercooked? I don't know, I don't eat enough cookies to know if they're undercooked. Um, that's batter. No, it's not! That's crusty batter. No, it's just a really soft cookie. <laughs> I tried so hard and I've already put the parchment paper in the bin! 
kitchen and I'm gonna have to get everything back out again and put it back in the oven and I'm gonna sew them under work. You're stressing Sally out. I'm stressed. Do you like my chocolate chips? I think they're very cute. Do you like my chocolate chips? I do. Do the cookies look good? They look amazing. Do they taste alright? Yeah, they taste fine. They just need a little bit longer in the oven. Oh, baby. I don't want my chocolate chips to taste good. They do taste good. I need to put them back in the oven. End of video. I'm done now. Done. Done. Bye bye. No, I'm joking. This was really fun. Yeah. I'll pop them back in the oven. Maybe this little one's cooked better. Yeah. Freak it. That was a good uh... snap. You can always put them back in. That's what they should be like. And that's what they should be like. That's what they should be like. Bye bye! Bye!